Room exam tips for API size, source inspector rotating equipment. There is no negative marking, therefore it's advisable to answer all the questions. You can increase your chances by narrowing down the possible correct answer. Strike of the obvious wrong choice. Hold the mouse on the possible wrong answer and right click. This will strike them off, helping you to concentrate on the remaining possible answers. All API questions are multi-choice, four possible answers. API never uses terms such as none of the above or all of the above as possible answer. Same as both A and B, both A and C, uh, there would be just one single answer. Remember that all questions carry equal mark. For example, a simple question asking for symbol of magnesium, Mg or manganese as equal mark as that of a half a page long question. Although time management should not be an issue if you use your time wisely, but keep a tab of time versus number of questions answers. Remaining time versus question number can be found on the top right hand corner side of your computer screen during the exam. Set aside 15 to 30 minutes for reviewing all the questions once again, or at least review all those questions that you are in doubt and flag off. It's recommended to flag off those questions that have taken considerable time and come back to them at the end. There is a flag off button below or on top of each question. Don't uh, spend more than one minute for a question. If it's taking more than a one minute and you're still stuck, just flag it off, answer the best possible answer uh, that you do the best of your knowledge and come back to, the, to it at the end. In solving the doubtful question, try to understand as why a particular answer may be right, while the other three given answers should be wrong. Eliminate wrong answers to increase your chances of picking the correct answer. Please note that sometimes the wrong answer is quite a valid statement, but it is the wrong answer simply because it is either not relevant to the question or the question asked is in negative form, not. Hence, it's very important that you carefully read and understand the question. Some API exam questions contain irrelevant information. This is not aimed to confuse you, but to verify whether you can differentiate between relevant and irrelevant information in an actual scenario. Some questions are solely based on your experience as an inspector. API calls them practical question or awareness type of question. Remember that all certification requires a certain level of experience in addition to the education and knowledge. API intends to verify your understanding of principles and theory, interpretation and evaluation. So mere memorizing the facts and figures of the study material does not really help. Though a few questions may come straight from the API study material, most questions are either rephrased or brought within a context or is within a scenario, or the question and answers are swapped. Hence, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of concepts and fundamentals. Time management is not normally of great importance, provided you use your time wisely. But please note that the time using the toilet, checking out and in, commenting on any question, reviewing the question, etc. is coming off your allowance. For better time management, flag off those questions you are not sure of and revisit them once you have completed all other questions. Try to eliminate the absolute wrong answer by negative reasoning in order to increase your chances of getting the answer right. Remember that all questions carry equal marks and the minimum passing grade is roughly 70%. So it is logical to attempt smaller questions quickly and then in the remaining time try reattempting those questions that are longer, more complicated or you are simply stuck spending too much time on a few questions without much progress. Try to pace your progress against the time. That is, you should be roughly on question number 50 or 55 after one and a half hour or earlier. 
Although education can offset for less experience, you should appreciate the fact that unless one does not re have real hands-on experience in the field, it would be difficult to feel the underlying reason behind some of the course standards and recommendations. The experience is gained through observation, power of deduction, and it is ultimately the common sense really. With common sense, reason it out, it is likely a correct answer to a very easy question. A lot of questions are derived from basics, such as definition, meaning, terms, scope, exclusion, inclusion, purpose of the codes and requirements, vocabulary, and the like. Sitting for an exam can be stressful, especially for such a long day Try to sleep early the night before and stop studying on the exam day. Just peruse through the important parts of the reference documents or look at the figures and charts for one half an hour and look at the flashcards that we have provided. Let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the day-long exam. Thank you.